Travis Wayne Goodsell. Uh, Miko Shimaki had uh, a run on diatribe creating his own version of Mormonism. In response to LDS Church President Russell M. Nelson shows no respect or reverence for the name of Christ. <clears throat> People just don't listen. <clears throat> they see the title and they think they know how to answer. They come to one video, they think they know how to answer. Nope. Wrong. We should believe the scriptures, not man. Hmm. Who wrote the scriptures? Exactly. And so, guess who was back? She is a troll. Because sometimes you feel like a nut. Sometimes you are. Remember not to be touching the table when I laugh or move or <sighs> so yeah. Apparently YouTube Mormon employees being the judge right now of who gets banned and who gets reported. And so he refused to report Elsa to have her stop with her abuse as I went over in the video. She's again threatening violence, demanding that I be silent. So this time she changes her tune to stop lying and stop mocking the Lord's work. Well, Elsa is not getting it, because previously she mentioned that she had said that I need to stop it on all the other name videos. Silence me on all of them. So she went back on this one and made a comment. That's what she did. She apparently already watched them, or at least went to my video channel and saw that I did it, but then still went to another video of mine so that she can make a further comment rather than going, I want nothing to do with this guy, I'm leaving, I'm gone. Very definition of a troll, by the way. And a very abusive, violent troll that YouTube employee is not making sure I'm protected. So LDS Church to change BYU to Jesus Christ University. And so I shouldn't have to respond to trolls. They're asses. But, uh, again, everybody needs to understand this. You're not little kids anymore. You've graduated. You know English. You know English good. <laughs> English good. Me good. Me Mormon. Me bad. Because that's what she is. If she is legitimate, and she's Mormon, she's a very bad person. She's a very evil, demonic, hateful person who wants to hurt me. And YouTube Mormon employee won't stop her. Because she sent another threat. Lord's work in his restored church. It's not Joseph's. That's the whole point. She's in her denial world. It's just unbelievable. She is illiterate. Lord said, he shall not be mocked. And he also said, fools mock, but they shall mourn. Well, good for you. You can read if you want to. It's unbelievable the hate. So, a first presidency statement on church finances. 
Nelson confesses that he's going to give all the church's money to Jesus at the second coming. <coughs> and so Elsa is right, right? I'm wrong. Joseph Smith is wrong. This church is true. So Jesus Christ is coming for the second coming, and Nelson has told us he's given all the money to Jesus. Okay? When he overthrows the government of the United States to restore polygamy and child bride marriages for religious freedom purposes, giving all the money to Jesus. So 17 December 2019, this is in response to the whistleblower. Who tells us in his video, the seven minute one, the short one, I'm not sure if he also repeats it in the long one, but uh, he says that uh, he was told that the First Presidency want the money saved just to keep getting interest, to keep earning uh, revenue, to funnel it all in there because they're going to give it to Jesus at the second coming. It's for the second coming or for the millennium. And so Nelson, not wanting to violate tax law for 501c3, which the, it's not approved if that's what you're doing it for. Religions have to use it for charity. Church isn't using it for charity. They're stockpiling. And so, first presidency statement on church finances. This is the official statement of the first presidency. This means this is scripture for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, even though they won't publish it as canon. We take seriously the responsibility to care for the tithes and donations received from members. The vast majority of these funds are used immediately to meet the needs of the growing church, including more meeting houses, temples, education, humanitarian work, and missionary efforts throughout the world. Over many years, a portion is methodologi methodically, method <laughs> methodologically safeguarded through wise financial management and the building of a prudent reserve for the future. This is a sound doctrinal and financial principle. And they're not allowed to do that if they're going to be 501c3. We're still waiting for the IRS. SEC responded for the stock market. And yes, they've committed a crime. And yes, it implicates that they've also violated 501c3. As well as taxing purposes now because it means they need to be revoked of the 501c3 and have to pay back taxes multi billions of dollars taught by the Savior in the parable of the talents is that the lesson coming up soon do we have that coming up soon because we're going to it, we'll find out. And lived by the church and its members. I, I've always been too poor since I left home to be able to practice this. And it's stupid. Rich people always demand that the poor set aside savings. We're too poor to save money. They don't get that. They don't want to get that. That's part of the abuse of against the poor. All church funds exist for no other reason than to support the church's divinely appointed mission. Claims currently being circulated are based on a narrow perspective and limited information. He worked for them. See, this is Helaman chapter 6, verse 24. Whistleblowers. He made sure to go to the government to protect himself. Wise move. Church would have had him assassinated by now. As they've been trying to assassinate me. <clears throat> but it was the concept of 
verses 22 and 23 that he was put in that position in the first place, the way I was put into the many positions in the church that I've been in, is because the church believes that we can be trusted to commit crimes for the church. That we'll keep it silent and cover it up and perpetuate them. And unfortunately, there are those of us who whistleblow. We will not tolerate anybody, even the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, committing crimes. Because I once believed the lies. People forget that. Mormons don't think, wait a minute, he was a faithful Mormon. He was more faithful than I've ever been. Combined. Why did he leave? So you guys get it wrong. It's always big news when an authority high up leaves the church. James J. Humula, for example. And because it was kept silent, you know, you've still, I still, I got a comment the other day accusing James J. Humula of having committed sexual sin. No, we were told it was not for apostasy. And his brother came out and said, no, it was not for sexual sin. He had to have a non-disclosure agreement. He can't talk about why. But it doesn't stop people from condemning him now as a Mormon. He was excommunicated. He's therefore apostate. He's evil. He betrayed the church. And ex-Mormons, they look at him and go, oh, he's a high authority. Oh, wow. High authority and rank in the church does not mean intelligence in regards to Mormon doctrine and theology. This is a mistake everybody makes. And it's because of the Christians. The higher up in rank, the more exclusive they get to the knowledge and disseminate to the people. And so the people assume, well, he's a higher rank, he has access to the knowledge, so we have to trust and believe him that he knows what he's talking about. Not the same anymore in this church. Everybody has access to the knowledge. And so, every Mormon can fact-check the prophets in conference and find out that they're lying to you. We can fact-check him by looking at the parable of the talents. And they say, we continue to silence the IRS to make sure that we don't get punished. So, parable of the talents. Matthew 25. Oh. Oh. It's coming up soon. Had to put a pillow to cushion the blow. Now I'm sitting awkwardly. I'm uh, trying to get things done with the new chair while doing videos. For the kingdom of heaven. So it's Zion in the latter days. This is a prophecy of the latter days. This is following Matthew 24. It's about the latter days. And he continues in 25, talking about the latter days. This is the apocalypse of Matthew. So the kingdom of Zion, or kingdom of heaven, is a symbol code word for Zion in the latter days. Is as a man traveling into a far country who called his servant, own servants and delivered unto them his goods. And that's obviously the Christ, not Jesus, the Jewish Christ. This was written by a Jew. And unto one he gave five talents, to another two, and to another one, every man according to his several ability. Ability. And they're not talents as American's greatest singer, juggler. This is money. And straightway took his journey. 
Then he that had received the five talents went and traded with the same. This is what Nelson is talking about, what they're doing. And made them another five talents. And likewise, he, and this is a violation of tax law for 501c3, and received two, he gained another two. And so they doubled their amount. But he that received one went and digged in the earth and hid his Lord's money. Lord mean master. That's why it's lowercase lord. There is no upper or lower case in, in Greek per se. Koine Greek, yes. Not, uh, not the uh, original Paleo Greek. Um, and I'd be curious if Matthew 25, 18, might as well, I'm doing the video. Blue Letter Bible, Matthew 25, 18. We'll see if the Greek has it in capital. Slow, slow, very slow, 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 very slow, 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 very slow, 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 very slow, slow, very slow, 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 blueletterbible.org. Matthew 25, was it 18? Yes. Okay, we want to switch it to Greek New Testament, morphological. another one with capital oh verse 22 and verse 20 interesting and verse 20 nope nope lowercase all the way through For a long time the Lord of those servants cometh and reckoneth with them and so he that had received five talents came and brought other five talents saying Lord thou deliverest unto me five talents behold I have gained beside them five talents more the Lord said unto him well done thou good and faithful servant thou hast been faithful over a few things and I will make thee a ruler over many things enter into the joy of my Lord he also that had received two talents came and said, Lord, thou deliverest unto me two talents, and I have gained two other talents beside them. His Lord said unto him, Well done, good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over a few things. I will make thee ruler over many things. Enter into the joy of thy Lord. Pay attention. Then he that receiveth the one talent came and said, Lord, I knew that thou art an hard man, reaping where thou hast not sown, and gathering where thou hast not strawed. And I was afraid, and went and hid thy talent in the earth. Lo, there thou hast that is thine. His Lord answered and said unto him, Thou wicked and slothful servant, thou knewest that I reap where I sowed not, and gather where I have not strawed. Thou oughtest therefore to have put my money to the exchangers, and then at my coming, notice he doesn't say second coming, <laughs> I should have received mine own with usury. Take therefore the talent from him, and give it unto him which hath ten talents. Did you catch that? 
No, not about taking his talent and giving it to somebody else. The guy's got to keep the money. These are servants of the Lord. And they get to keep the money. <laughs> this is his business. And he lets the servants keep the money. Can you imagine if American history, the slave owners, let the slaves keep all the money from their work? <laughs> Who says that Jesus supports slavery in the Bible? And so, yeah, gnashing of teeth, outer darkness. Son of man shall come in his glory. Uh -huh. So you catching this? Nelson's supposed to give it to the Lord at the second coming, but he knows the parable of the talents. They get to keep the money. <laughs> so Jesus has no need for it? When he rules the government? What's the whole purpose of collecting money then? You know, the church makes it seem, sound like they've got all this money that they've got to spend. No. The majority of the money they receive, they hoard. They're worse than Ebenezer Scrooge. They're worse than Scrooge McDuck. And, uh, and so... This is a big con that they're pulling on. And so let's put it into the real application because they're not. If we are going to believe the Book of Mormon and Joseph, who are wrong all the time, that uh, they are correct when they say that they are in the learning of the Jews. And so that means that the Jewish Christ is a mortal man, a human being, more mortal parents, both of them. His name is Sun God, Emmanuel. <clears throat> and the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints is the actual church he's coming to to do a reckoning for how they've done with his money. And Joseph Smith says he's Mormon. Section 103, verse 16. Is Nelson going to give him the money? Obviously not, because he's not Jesus. Do you now see what's going on? Nelson is using this as a cover to justify hoarding the money. To overthrow the government. To get their kingdom back. But Nelson says, it's all going to go to the man like Moses. The true Christ of Joseph Smith for the latter days. He will be a Mormon. His last name will be Sun God. First name will be he who is from the crossroads of the Sun God, which are solar eclipses over the United States of America. For the latter days, first and last day of darkness, it's supposed to go to him. Is Nelson going to do it? supposed to do it. It's got to do it. Is he going to do it? No. Because of Jesus. And he's fooled all of you into believing in Jesus. And uh, like the troll Elsa, she uh, believes that, that uh, this is the true restored gospel. It's church, Elsa. Not gospel. 
even though Nelson restored it as the higher law of the gospel. The higher gospel. You guys are just so dumb, and he plays you for dumb. And ignorance breeds hate, and hate breeds Elsa. The troll. She didn't even comment on the video with her picture on it. 